Hello everyone, and welcome to Tony's Comic Spotlight. In this weekly episodic series, I spotlight some of the best comics put to print. In this week's episode, we celebrate the first appearance of Anton Miguel Rodriguez, aka the original Tarantula, by shining the spotlight on Amazing Spider-Man issue number 134, released on April 9, 1974, from Marvel Comics. If you're enjoying the content, please feel free to like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos. Feel free to leave a comment as well. I hope you enjoy the videos. And now, on to our featured story. The Amazing Spider-Man in Danger is a man named Tarantula. Running late for a cruise with Flash Thompson, Mary Jane, and Liz Allen, Peter Webb slings to the docks so as not to miss the trip. Changing back to Peter Parker, he makes it just in time. The cruise ship goes sour when it is hijacked by the costume mercenary known as the Tarantula, who intends on ransoming off the passengers for a million dollars. Peter slips away and changes into Spider-Man and attacks the Tarantula. However, the Tarantula knocks some of the crew overboard and Spider-Man is forced to jump ship to save them. He realizes after he saved them that he's out of webhood and cannot swing back to the ship. He then rushes back to his apartment he shares with Harry Osborn and quickly grabs his spare web cartridges. He leaves in such a rush that he doesn't notice that Harry Osborn has spied him doing so and has discovered Peter's secret identity of Spider-Man. As word of the ransom and demands for financial help from the mayor reach J. Jonah Jameson, Spider-Man manages to web sling back onto the ship to resume his fight with the tarantula and his thugs. Although he is tagged by the drug tips of the tarantula's boots, Spider-Man manages to put up a good fight against his foes. However, the drugs kick in and Spider-Man briefly blacks out. When he comes around, he sees that the Punisher has arrived and is now pointing a gun in his face, seeking to take control of the situation. To be continued. Anton Miguel Rodriguez was a revolutionary in the South American country of Delvadia, fighting to overthrow the fascist government. He and his fellow freedom fighters employed such tactics as bombings, kidnapping politicians for ransom, and assassinations. Rodriguez was expelled from his group after he murdered a security guard in cold blood during a bank robbery. The Devadian government took notice of Rodriguez and gave him a new mission and role as the Tarantula, a government-backed costume agent, in effect a fascist Captain America, who was used against his former allies in assignments he especially enjoyed. Rodriguez's violent streak eventually got the better of him when he killed a guard who would not allow him to beat a captured revolutionary. Disavowed by the government, the Tarantula fled South America and began living in New York illegally. He soon began to integrate himself into the city's criminal underworld. For his first big score, the Tarantula, along with his two henchmen, Hildago and Juan, hijacked a Hudson River Dayliner in order to rob the passengers and hold them for ransom. Spider-Man, with the help from the Punisher, managed to foil the Tarantula's plans and capture him. The Tarantula then became a mercenary, later allying himself with the Jackal and Senior Morte, and attempted to abduct or murder Nose Norton. He was also hired by Edward Lansky to stage his own kidnapping, as well as killing Mayor Bean. He was unsuccessful in all of these ventures. The Brand Corporation mutated the tarantula into a spider-like creature with four additional clawed legs and a spider-like face with sharp fangs at the sides of his mouth and compound eyes. Enraged, the tarantula sought his revenge against the Brand Corporation. Spider-Man and the Will o' the Wisp prevented him from murdering a Brand executive. Seeing that he had mutated even further into a giant spider, the tarantula dove from a building into a hell of gunfire from NYPD officers and died quickly on the street below. Several years after his death, the tarantula was among the many of Spider-Man's deceased foes who were brought back to life by Spider-Man's clone, Ben Riley, who was acting as the new jackal. As an, incept, as an incentive to convince Spider-Man to join his enterprise, when the Jackal's ally, Dr. Octopus, turned against him and set off the decay of the bodies of his subjects, the Tarantula's body started breaking down. 
While many of the people the Jackal cloned back to life did not survive the decay before Spider-Man put a halt to it, others did manage to survive. When Craven the Hunter contracted the Taskmaster and the Black Ant to capture animal-themed villains for the Great Hunt, the Tarantula was among the first, being forcibly introduced as a member of the new Savage Six. After the Great Hunt, the Tarantula was forced by the Vulture to continue being a member of the team. Powers In his human form, the Tarantula had no superhuman powers. In his mutated spider form, the Tarantula gained several superhuman abilities. He had four additional clawed legs and spider-like face with sharp fangs at the sides of his mouth and compound eyes. He had super strength, superhuman speed, superhuman durability, and web spinning. And then his mutated spider form, the tarantula could spin webs from his abdomen. Abilities. In his human form, the tarantula was a brilliant athlete with a great agility, especially in leaping. He was also a superb hand-to-hand -hand combatant. The tarantula wore gloves that contained retractable razor blades and boots with retractable razor sharp points. The blades were covered with drugs that would render his victims unconscious. I hope you enjoyed this look at Amazing Spider-Man 134 as we celebrated the first appearance of the original tarantula, Anton Miguel Rodriguez. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe and consider ringing the bell for future video notifications. And coming up next week, we're going to shine the spotlight on the first appearance of Eobard Thawne aka the Reverse Flash and Professor Zoom by shining the spotlight on the pages of the Flash issue number 139 from 1963. So until next time, everyone, be safe, take care, and God bless. See ya. You better watch out if you're ignoring me. He's a road ahead of full prophecy to be the greatest beast the world has ever seen. I feed him every day with the bones clean. I feed him all the hate and he grows me. And he gets caught, you're a big pissed off quick. And if you cross him, you might drop dead.